Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to make uh, banana bread, homemade banana bread. So you're actually going to start with two to three ripe bananas. The more ripe, the better. Mine weren't exactly all that ripe, but that'll work as well. So you're going to smash your bananas and just try to make sure that you smoothen them out as much as you can. The next ingredient is going to be the melted butter. Be very careful whenever you're microwaving it because butter melts so fast you won't need to microwave it too long and I would suggest doing it a few seconds at a time. So once you have that microwaved you're going to stir that into your banana and you're also going to mix in uh, your baking soda and your salt and then just stir it well. So now you're going to have your last of your wet ingredients which are your vanilla and your egg and you're going to mix those very well. Once those are mixed, you're going to actually start with your sugar and then you're going to mix it up very well. And I don't know how many times I've said mix it up well. So just mix it all up and then after that you're actually going to start with your dry ingredient which is going to be your flour. Now with your flour, I would actually highly suggest doing um, putting in about a quarter cup or half a cup at a time. If you do it all together, it's gonna it's gonna be a mess. I'm I'm warning you. So just do it a half a cup or a quarter cup at a time. Mix it and then add in your other quarter cup or your other half a cup. Mix it again and then until all of your flour is fully combined. From here, it's actually optional. I, I do like to add um, pecans, so you're more than welcome to add any type of nut, your walnuts or whatever you want to add to it for texture. Um, and then the last part is actually one tablespoon of syrup. It can be maple syrup or whatever type. I feel like it just makes it a lot more creamier and you'll be able to actually taste the difference with it. So of course you just pour the batter into your loaf pan and you're going to bake it for 50 minutes to 1 hour. I do 50 minutes, I like it a little bit more on the soft side. If you like it to be a little bit more crispy then I would suggest doing it, just baking it for the full hour. And then once it's finished then you're just going to let it uh, cool off for a little bit and it's ready to eat. I hope you guys enjoy, thank you!